Carbon monoxide and hydrogen sulfide are two of the most deadly gases found in confined spaces. Hydrogen sulfide and other toxic gases may enter the confined space from a variety of sources, including sewers, rotting material, chemical leaks or spills, or as a byproduct of work processes. Carbon monoxide is odorless and colorless. It's produced from the incomplete burning of any carbon-containing material like gasoline, wood, natural gas, and propane, and can be lethal at doses of 1% or less. Hydrogen sulfide is invisible and has an odor like rotten eggs, but at higher concentrations, it may knock out your sense of smell. Death can result in seconds from hydrogen sulfide exposure. There are so many possible sources for toxic gases that it's impossible to predict the danger without testing. Last year, my partner and I were repairing leaks on the air release valves in the sewer system. My partner was in the hole pumping out water. I happened to look in and saw him slumped over. Sean, are you okay? One second he's fine, the next out like a light. Hey, I'm pretty strong. There's no doubt in my mind I can climb down and pull him up quickly. All I remember is going down the ladder. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in hospital and they're telling me my partner's dead. That's how quickly those gases can hit you. Many gases can permeate confined spaces. Some, like methane, are extremely flammable. A single spark could ignite the air around you into an explosive fireball. There are other contaminants which can exist in confined spaces. They're sometimes the remaining byproduct of an old confined space operation like welding or painting, or they may just seep into the space. But what they all have in common is that they can accumulate to dangerous levels in confined spaces. <laughs> 